If you want to improve your climbing speed, then there's two areas you'll need to focus on. One, developing that base level of fitness to be able to hold a higher tempo on the climb, and two, be able to make and recover from high intensity efforts. Today, I've been lucky enough to be able to ride with Tade Pogacar, find out how he trains to develop these areas and how sessions like his can work for you. So for FTP then, what would be your best session? I do a lot of zone two riding. Yeah. Like on the flat, trying to do mostly flat. Yeah. And then uh, when I hit the climb, I do 50 minutes zone four, you know, and just... Uh, so like sweet spot kind of... Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. you know, just over threshold, yeah, 50 yeah. minutes, it's really hard and uh, yeah, but zone two for me, is the the thing that uh, that is good for me you know so is 15 minutes the longest interval you would do for that kind of training yeah uh, so i do just uh, 15 minutes intervals yeah whenever is interval i do 15 minutes and how many of them would you do on let's say a ride where you where you did them uh so normally if it's three day block i do two longer rides with zero or two intervals, yeah. and then one uh, shorter ride with two intervals more close together. So, yeah, in three days, normally four or two times, three, yeah. three times uh, zone four. So how should people feel at the end of that training? Like what, what feelings should you have in your legs after you've done the session well? I mean, of course you need to feel pain in the legs, yeah. you know? A little bit hard to go on the stairs and down. You're tired, but the most important thing is that you feel feel at yourself that you did good training. That you're not like I was shit. It was not good training. Just throw away the bike. You need the feeling that Positive. oh cool. I was really I did really good training. Uh, I deserve a rest now. You know. That kind of thinking you need after uh, training. Did you do any kind of intervals, like short explosive intervals? Really, sometimes I do 40-20. Yeah. But that's like just to break the training rhythm a little bit. Yeah. Normally. And how many times in a week would you do that? I would do that, yeah. Uh, if this would be in my regular program I would do that for sure two times per week. So how would that work then? So normally I do three reps of five or six minutes and four or twenty for 40 seconds of uh, full gas sprinting and then 20 seconds just spin the legs not stop but yeah still need to spin and then 40 seconds again full gas and uh, you do this five or six minutes rest for uh, 10 or 15 minutes and repeat again yeah it's like you know just to to change a little bit the training or just to to prepare for the race a little bit more intensity so that's almost like your race tuning yeah intervals then yeah okay before the race one day before the race normally i do two times three minutes just to open the legs and lungs but uh it, just if if i feel that i need it you know yeah sometimes you you just need to spin the legs a little bit or uh, yeah that's it so are there any ways to uh, develop climbing strength like maybe there's a lot of talk in the media about people using big gears high torque do you ever use that in your training uh, when i was younger yes i think that was also important when i was younger to develop you know a little bit more better uh, like cadence going around 60 we did that a lot uh, around 300 watts for me at juniors at that time zone three so it's the sort of sort of training then that people maybe at the start of their cycling journey might do to help develop strength yeah I'm, i think so when you start training and start cycling it's better to do 
more different trainings so you don't get bored you develop different skills and you see what uh, what is the best for you what yeah. suits you the best you know